he restarts by going to a model wizard. And in this work, we're going to use a 2D axisymmetric space dimension. And for our physics, we'll be using the battery interfaces at medium ion batteries and as well as heat transfer in solids. So after adding these two physics, move to steady, then under preset steadies, under lithium ion batteries, we add the time dependent initialization. Okay, so so that brings us here to our model, our console window, as you can see. So what we'll do next is under global definitions, we have to load our parameters to move to parameters. And we are going to load our parameters from file. So we choose load from file. And just search for kernel. We're using the internal short circuit parameters. Just open then. We have our uh, parameters in here. As you can see, we go to our geometry. That's now we can start building our geometry. And we select a rectangle under the size and shape. In the width section, we're going to input this. And under the height section, you're going to input L underscore out. And uh, so we expand the layers. Layer section and under the layers, we're going to define the layer name and the thickness. So, layer one, the thickness will be oh, let's go. Let me see. Let me see. Layer two is going to be sorry. Line to the negative, line to the separator. separator, and that of the positive side. So we're going to build this. You just click on build selected. Okay, so you can realize that I made a mistake in here. It's supposed to be L, let's call T, zero T. Sorry for that. So realize that anytime we make a mistake, maybe when we are inputting our, our let's see, we are naming a, part, a certain parameter, for the height, we named it as L underscore TOT. We had an error because it's not defined in our parameters. So after I did correct it and I select build, 
you go to okay so now there's no error as you can see so this is our geometry that we just built based on what we just did so i took all those um text from here so they all defined in here so i think if you want to like cross check you can just look at the parameters in here so i think we can continue then i want us to add a polygon geometry i'm going to add a polygon So under the polygon, we have the object type. So let's open that side. And you now we have it, can have it as a closed curve or as an open curve. We want to have it as a open curve. We want to have it open. And we want to define the coordinates for the polygon. So under this table, I'm going to input this in here. Yeah. Negative. And we have this second as this underscore make plus this okay. So as soon as we done, see, we have our polygon in here. Okay. I'm gonna choose the circle. I'm gonna add the circle. Let me locate the size and shape. And you know, a circle has a radius, so the radius we have to define the radius to be our uh, underscore. And two. And under the sector angle. Let's type 90. Okay, the position and where we have the position, we have to text this this field. We have to text this. Input this here. So we are doing this in order to help us build our geometry for our work. And I just want you guys to follow as I'm doing it here. Okay. Okay, we have it. Yes, this. So let's duplicate this cycle one. I want to duplicate this and 
in the Z field, we're just gonna change this position for the Z field. We'll just take off this separator part. And also under the rotation angle, we're going to make it 270 degrees. Okay. So we built it here, as you can see. In here. So if you're following carefully, at this point where we've got into your geometry should look like this. If it's not the same as how I have over here, I think you should go back and look at what I have done so far. Just go back and check the best step. So I think we can move on and add another polygon. So we want to add a vertical line. So we add it by using a polygon. Now under the object section, we want this as open curve. And we look at the coordinates under the table, as we did for the first one. We just have to input some text in here. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So I think it's zero. So I need to copy and paste, but just let me just type it again. This will be L underscore PLT. And we'll do a selected. So after we want to create a number of selections in the geometry, which will be used later. And yeah, all we do is go to the definitions toolbar. And we choose an explicit. And we're going to label this as a negative CC. And our domains, we're going to select. And then we select one and nine. We'll add another a second explicit. And as we did for the first one, we're going to change the label to define it as a negative electrode. And we choose domains. Two, three, and 10. Okay. Go ahead to add another explicit. That'll be the separator. Okay. 
Yeah, domain is 8, 10, 11. And we add another extra suit, which will be, of course, the positive electrode. And when we talk, six. And five. Five, six, twelve. I'm gonna add another extra set. That will be the positive seven and thirteen. Okay. Yeah, add another explicit for the as the penetrating filaments. Yes, so that's the one four, yeah. Choose a union, and that will be the metal conductor domains. And we have to add, so we add negative. Add uh, this, we add the control, select positive control, select the penetrating filament. Okay, so after adding this, I think we can add another explicit. And we're gonna select the negative terminal and I'm going to choose it as a boundary and that will be at region boundary 30 okay I'm going to add another extra suit. We're going to add another extra suit. Okay. We've added a negative terminal. So the next thing is to do is to add the positive terminal. Positive terminal. Choose a boundary, select a boundary, U34. And we have to add a union to it. which will be our terminals. Terminals. This is a boundary. And we have to add 
I'll be in negative and uh, positive terminals. Now we can move on to add our materials. So we go to materials and the first add material and we're gonna add union that'll be our first material aluminum And the under aluminum, the okay, wait, let me add it again. I'm gonna add it again. Um, click add material. Uh, the first material and under the geometric entity selection i'm going to choose it's going to be at a positive see? and next is as adding copper, you have to add in aluminum, you can add this copper. And copper will be at the negative. Okay, so realize that for our materials, the one we selected, most of the properties are not defined. So I would like us to actually select some materials which have all properties defined. So we're going to delete aluminum and copper that we initially picked. And we're going to add um, built in, not from the material library. We're going to pick it from the built in section. And we'll first add aluminum. 
then we add copper as you can see. So we have added aluminum and we have added copper. So now we select the regions, geometric entity selection, we'll select the positive to see for aluminum and for copper, we're going to select negative, this one. as you can see in here. And also we'll add we'll go to our battery. We have to add an NMC electrode. So Uh, the positive for our material three, and we also have to add the graphite electrode. Need to add our electrolytes. Okay, so now we've been able to add uh have aluminum, we have okay. So now you realize I made a mistake in here for the copper aluminum and copper, I did select the same. Copper has to be negative, not positive. So we have this positive and this negative. And the NMC electrode will be at the positive electrode. Graphite will be at a negative. And we have the electrolytes being at a separator. As you can see. We have our separator, so we define our separator, our negative electrode, our positive electrode, negative, positive, negative, positive separator. So at this point, being able to add our parameters, build our geometry, added our material. So in the next video, I want us to look at how we, uh, we're looking at the physics sections meshing then subsequently we'll, we'll move to our stadium we'll, we'll, we'll start plotting uh we'll start computing our work to get results from our our, our model that we are building now so I'll, i'd like us to end this video here so we'll continue the next section in the next video all right so i'll see you in the next video